incorporating the original picture that you've been working with on top of your stamp and kind of mixed in could add a lot of interesting edits, not only in the color and bringing back some of the detail, but in tying uh, your entire portrait together. So think about trying to, uh, trying to experiment with a few of these techniques and bringing the background back a little bit. But you should have a background copy that still has your original photo. If you don't, you can just go to File, Place Linked, and place your picture. So I'm going to just drag this bottom layer up to the top layer. And if you lower your opacity, you should be able to kind of see through to make sure that everything still lines up. If you did move your mask or if you changed the size of your picture, you might have to uh, hit Command-T, hold down Shift, and try to expand this photo to try to make the size fit better to the picture. But for now, this lines up okay. I'm going to bring that opacity all the way up. And the first thing you could experiment with is using a paintbrush and adding a mask, which is uh, that square button with the circle in it, adding a mask to your image. And with a low opacity and a feathered brush, or even a textured brush could be interesting, uh, but I'll grab a feathered brush for now. You can try to bring some of the texture back. So I'm kind of getting rid of some of um, that value so you can see the clouds and maybe play around with having that fade into your image. So instead of kind of taking over the entire picture, maybe just have it in certain areas. So maybe um, I have the clouds more in the hair and then starting to fade into the face of it. Just bring in some of those clouds back. Um, maybe I'll have more of the outside of the face. Have the clouds here. So just play around with maybe the placement of your brush to try to bring just some of the some of the texture back, but leaving some of uh, your picture. And again, if you want to switch your color to white, you can bring back more of the photo. So maybe again, I want uh, the eyes and lips to stand out more. I'm going to get rid of my mask though, so I'm just going to click and delete it so that you can see a different edit that you can experiment with uh, with the original photo as well. So that would be the blending modes. If you change your blending mode in your layers panel to multiply, which usually works the best, it will mix your picture with your texture. And each of these different blending modes will give a different effect. So that's something to definitely experiment with and play around with and see if there's something uh, that looks interesting. So this one I like because it kind of brings out those clouds a little bit. And then from there, maybe I can add a mask to this layer and uh, find specific areas to hide a little bit. So maybe um, some of the hair down here I can darken or hide with my mask to bring out the clouds more. So play around with that original picture. See what you can do to really um, bring out an interesting effect within your image.